Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back guys today with a video for you on Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning. Uh, hopefully everybody is doing well. We had a big Future Stars video go out yesterday where we were talking about a lot of the things that are going to happen this week and to come. And uh, thank you guys for the support on that video. So today what we're going to be looking at is primarily the Future Stars cards, talking about a couple of the trends that they've had. Um, and just giving you guys a little bit of a, an opportunity of, of a choice of when to buy, when to sell, a little bit of that. Um, just more of a menu-based video today, nothing too crazy. In terms of overnight sales, um, we did well. I bought three Gio Reynas at 1.6, and he went up to 1.85. I've got one more. Um, so these were like 120 k But something that didn't go well was I bought six Quadrados at 3.90, and he's 3.60. So that didn't go well because I lost like two or 300 k on him, but I made like 400 500 k on Reyna. But... We did actually buy one Quadrado, guys, at 290-something on a snipe last night. And so that one made 100K. So that helped offset a little bit of the loss. And it took a little bit of a risk on this Man of the Match Quadrado. We got some new Man of the Matches last night. The reason I took a little risk on the Quadrado situation was because, look, he links to Ronaldo, and there's qualifiers today. There's qualifiers today, which is why you guys could probably expect the meta tier market to be pretty high for the majority of today. Uh, because there's qualifiers, a lot of these players... Uh, who are participating in today's qualifiers will keep the market somewhat stable um, just due to the nature of these people are, are playing with their teams and they're keeping that market kind of inflated a little bit with the top tiers. You can expect a sell-off to probably start to happen some point some point tomorrow with the meta tiers and that's like kind of like baby mid prime icons that are meta out of packs, uh, things like that. But overall, yeah, really fun, man, uh, flipping this Gio Reyna, man. Uh, so that was a little bit of something that we did overnight. Um, but uh, we really did have an opportunity to actually flip uh Kamavinga which is another one and I didn't end up flipping this guy because look he went from 2-3 to 2-8 yesterday and then he went down to 2-4 again last night he went to 2-8 this morning and I can't understand why um I tried this card out we put out a review he's really not good um we tried him as a center mid even a CDM a little bit more reserved he's very clunky on the ball so it was hard to understand why this guy is training so much but I think you look at this card and his in games are so incredible that so many people want to try this guy out. So that's what I'm really thinking in terms of why this guy is trending so much. I think there's just so many people that really want to try this dude. And so that's why we're seeing this kind of big fluctuation going on on the market with Kamavinga because there's really no other, there's no other real, you know, um, analysis in terms of why this guy is selling for so much. I mean, really, it just has to be down to the fact that people really want to try this guy. Now, these future stars guys will be in packs until next Friday. Um, I think that they will be probably a lot of these will be cheapest on Thursday. Uh, now Thursday will yield a, a point of supply where they will go down probably some point in the afternoon because you guys know with Thursdays what we do get is we get weekend league rewards. Now this will probably supply these guys enough to the point where they will just be they will be really low and they will be buyable on Thursday. Now Bergwine had a really nice over overnight rise. He will oh my gosh, what the heck? Let's freaking go, man. Guys, what a snipe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a snipe. We pick up a Steven Bergwijn for 1047, and he's 1 1.2. This is 100,000 coins just like that. Incredible. Incredible snipe, guys. Wow. Okay. Well, um, we're going to list that up at 1, 1, uh, 1195, and uh, we are going to take the profit, man. Can I get a W in the comment section? <laughs> <laughs> Sick man. Uh, but anyways, this guy was he went down all the way to mill last night, then he went to 115, then he went down to 11, and now he's 12. So these guys are trending a lot, and I think you'll see a continued trend today. I think they will continue to trend because they're future stars, not future frauds. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of my comment section saying that these cards are future frauds. Guys, you can't disrespect these players, okay? Stop saying that. Um, but anyways, yeah, they're they're gonna trend a lot, they're gonna move up and down a lot, but they're very in demand. So expect them to drop a little bit today with lightning rounds. They will get some more supply. But again, I think they will probably trend back upwards again at some point because I think a lot of people want to try these cards. I think they're all very, very, very nice looking. And I think this card design is unbelievable. And the way that these cards look are, are really nice. So I would expect that they would somewhat creep back up again today. Um, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking, guys. So with Steven Bergwijn, I think this is a card that, look, again, we got to talk about it. These guys, again, are going to get a big supply tomorrow night at Squad Battle Rewards. There's a chance that they rise a lot on Monday. Uh, there really is. And somebody that I know I'm looking at, and I know when I put these on the videos, that sometimes they don't work out. But I'm looking at this card right here because this guy links to Tenali. And so really what I'm thinking is as people start to unlock Tenali, they may pick up this guy to kind of fit the future future star Steve, and he's the cheapest option 
besides Lunin, the goalkeeper. So expect this guy to continue to drop with lightning round supply today and potentially squad battle, you know, supply tomorrow night. But we could see a rise on Tuesday-ish Monday. We always sometimes see this little rise on Monday, Tuesdays, guys, um, because you have this kind of period where there's not a lot of pa- – a lot of these cards are not packed a lot from Monday to Wednesday, and people want to use them. So if there's a reason to link them, if there's a reason to use them, we usually see a nice little increase in value with some of these guys. And Diogo Dalot's probably one of my favorites in terms of a guy that could really, really rise um, this week. I really could see him going up a bit. Um, I think it's very possible that we see this guy going up a bit just due to the Tenali link. And really anything in the Serie A. I think anything in the Serie A is, is quite interesting to me um, as well. Now, let's go to the transfers. Let's see if we sold uh, that Bergwijn. Yeah, we did. So already, guys, at buying it at 104.7, selling it at 1.195. Um, that's like 90 to 100k after tax. So that's very, very nice. Um, very, very nice, actually. We'll, we'll take that for sure. Um, so yeah, also, not to mention, guys, it's it's interesting that we we did not we still do not have headliner streak or man of the matches uh in uh the car design, you know, search. And I think that's I think that's hurting the price of some of these guys. I mean, we can't I think a lot of us can't really find these cards. Jordi Alba got a man of the match card, guys. This card was 150k and is now 80k. I mean, this guy is literally dying. It's crazy to see. But uh, I like this card. I think he has a lot of demand. I think eventually he will rise out of packs. But it's looking like he's going down to 60 or 65 or 70. Jordi Alba is just not as used in FIFA anymore. Um, and I think that's a big reason why you're seeing this kind of price uh, be so low. I think he's just not as used anymore in this game. High medium worker is 3-star, three 3-star three left-footed. Um, 91 agility, 89 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 86 balance. Um, so not a bad card. Uh, Quadrado's got a really nice looking card. We've also got... Um, a Lucas, Lucas Ocampo's card, which doesn't look too bad. I was checking out this card last night for like 35K, but I ended up not buying him. And I'm kind of happy I didn't because I think he's now down at like 22, 23. But again, this is not a horrible card. He does have, um, you know, high, high and 6-2. But again, it's not, a, it's not a terrible card. Now, the guy who rose the most overnight last night uh, was Kulosevsky. Now, I actually tried this card out and he was incredible. Uh, he went from like 5 uh 505 to like 575 um and and to me it kind of does make sense i mean this card look right now when we take a look at it the, some of the most in-demand links is being in the Serie A. so the fact that he's playing you know on the team that links ronaldo on the team that links quadrado quadrado probably had a big impact on this guy i'm telling you right just a simple thing like a right back coming into this game can really really increase the price of a right wing right because you you talk about it when you're building a team if you rock out with that four five one um, you know, it's, it's something that it's super easy to make a team with a four, five, one, a right back and a right wing, and you get the strong link and you know, that take, that takes care of everything. Once you have that sorted, um, everything else is, everything else is, uh, everything else is good. Now, uh, also something I want to talk about today with you guys, we also got another sale. Oh no, it's still the Bergwijn. Um, I want to go into SBCs with you guys to talk about this Bruno Grim. Oh my God. I can't pronounce this guy's name. Uh, Bruno Guimari's card. Um, now the deal with this guy is. He's really good. Uh, I tried out his CDM version yesterday in game, and we put up a player review of him on the second channel. I think this guy is incredible. So I think for anybody that's looking for a CDM or to pick up uh, this Guimaraes card, I would do it. I thought he was really good, very comparable with Conte. Now, the way that I looked at it in the, in the lens of comparison with Conte, Conte is better defensively and interception-wise, but Guimaraes is a little bit better on the ball and a little bit better going forward and passing. So, but they're very comparable in, in a lot of ways. So if you're a person that's looking into doing this, Check him out, man. I think it's not a bad look. 84, 85. You know, it's it's the difference between him and Marquinhos as well is that Marquinhos is a little bit stronger as a ball winner. But again, this guy's a little bit better on the interceptions and winning the ball. So this is a really good SPC. I think this card on the market would be like 500K. With the with the current prices of a lot of these future star cards, I think he would be uh, very expensive. Now, in terms of today's content and what to expect, um, you know, we're probably going to get some sort of player pick SPC or something. I don't know. It's tough to know exactly what's going to happen on Saturday. We never really know what Saturday content is going to hold. Yesterday, we got a player SPC at an objective, so I don't really know what today is going to hold. I know for me, what I'm going to keep my eyes on today, I'm looking at a lot of Road to the Finals. Um, I'm interested in Road to the Finals. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to buy yet because I still think they're going to drop a little bit more, but I think Road to the Finals interests me today. I think Champions League is coming in, in like, you know, 10 days, guys. So I think for me, I'm, I'm starting to look at it like, okay, some people might get ready to gamble pretty soon. Right. And and we did we we did this on our video the other week where we were starting to buy some road to the final cards on our Saturday video and our Friday video. And they ended up being really, really good investments. Right. We made a lot of coins on Sunday and Monday. And and no matter what, we're kind of seeing this trend of Sunday nights and Mondays. People are just hopping on the train. People are just buying into these roads to the finals. They don't care. Um, now, this Obama meeting has been selling. If you take a look at the graph, um, 
this pure Emmerich Aubameyang has been selling for so many coins, right? Like if we go onto this onto this graph and we take a look, you know, he's he was up at over like a mil. And I remember I sold him at like, yet last week I bought him at 830, 850, 860. He went up to 970. So he had like a 120K increase last week, you know, after Sunday night. And, you know, he was 107 this morning. And this guy bought this version for 1.101. So when I take a look at it like that, I'm like, wow, that's actually a pretty low price for this Aubameyang. I'm, I'm okay risking those coins. I think that that's not a bad look. Um, and then something I think that would be really interesting for you guys to kind of understand and, and go, know going forward is like, if we take a look at this London card, right? You think, oh, he's just a goalkeeper. He's not that good. Um, what is really interesting is that because he's the cheapest future stars, because he links to Varane, because he's very easy to put in people's teams, he actually rose a lot overnight. He was 57 to 60K, and now he, he actually went up to 74K. He's chilling at 70. But he had a, that's a really big rise overnight for a card that's in packs, right? That's a really big rise. That's 14K a card, you know, if you get it at your cheapest and you sell it at the, at the highest. And a lot of the times these new cards sell for lazies as well. So I, that's a very impressive rise to me. Um, that he's risen that much overnight. Um, icons were doing very well yesterday. They're still really high. 86.13 is really high. Expect these to kind of come down a little bit more today. I have some of my trench list. I don't think too many, but I do have some of my trench list. I sold this Blanc at 107.7 last night. So there were a lot of pretty nice rises with icons last night. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how that goes going forward. This was an incredible investment, okay? This was an incredible investment. I knew that this was going to go up, and I bought 25 of them. I listened to my gut. This guy was discard. He's 28K. He's four-star, four-star. Uh, Paimonte, Calcio, Juventus, Link. And I told you guys on the video yesterday, I'm listing this guy for lazies. I know he's going to keep going up. He has incredible links. Um, if you ever see a car that's usable on a major club, Mason Greenwood, right? This guy was 17K. Look at this as an investment, man. And there's just too many links in the Serie A right now for that guy not to go up for the price that he was. The value at 16K was crazy. Mason Greenwood was 16K, 22K. And look, with these man of the match cards, right? They go out of packs. A lot of the time, if they're usable, they're going to go up. I think Quadrado's going to go up. I think Jordi Alba's going to go up. I even think Lucas Ocampos may go up. But you've got to wait for these guys to get some supply. They will keep dropping. Um, it, it will happen. But yeah, very very successful investment. I'm very happy um, you know, to see that that work out for us. That worked out really, really well for us. Um, so very happy to see that. In terms of the club... Um, and what we have, we still have a Greenwood in the club. And you guys can see, 17K buy price. So we're going to be patient. We're going to list that 23K. We're going to take that little bit of an extra coinage on the swing. Our club is pretty much full of road to the finals. I told you guys, I am ready to go. Uh, I bought these kind of like the last three days. Other than that, we don't have too much. We have a couple of 83s, a couple of 82s. I have a club right now that is very much ready for any sort of player pick. I have a lot of goals that I've saved up. And a lot of untradeable gold. So EA, bring me a player pick for content. I am ready. My body is ready. Give it to me. Please, EA. <laughs> but uh, look, I really want to pack a lot of these Future Stars cards. I think for me, they're, they're so cool. And I think something to look forward to, guys. I think next week's Future of the Stars is going to be incredible, man. I think it's going to be so good. There were so many players like Ansu Fati, Saka, that I was expecting this week that didn't end up coming. Guys, we have to talk about this, man. Check out Team of the Year prices. Oh, my lord. They're dropping so much. They're dropping a lot, man. Lewandowski was 2-9 last week. And what we're seeing right now is a shift of interest in Team of the Years, right? This Lewandowski even got back up to 2-6-3 last night. And now he's down at 2-4-4-1. So big drop-offs with Team of the Years, man. People are like, hey, I'm going on to use these Future Stars cards. I'm not too interested in Team of the Years anymore. Let's take a look at Kevin De Bruyne, right? 2.3 last night. Right now on the market, 2.16. So these are dropping a little bit. And I said, guys, I think the team of the years are going to be cheapest potentially this weekend on Sunday. Today is Saturday or potentially next weekend on Sunday, right? After that, you're going to have people basically not selling them anymore. And what I mean by that is if people are going to hold their team of the years for this long, they're most likely going to keep using them and not selling them. So people will then hold them for their end game teams. And then the next real sell off time is going to be when you have a situation like team of the season and you have some ratings that are potentially better you know, than these versions. For example, if KDB gets a 97 team of the season, if Bruno gets a 90, 98 or a 99, right? That's the next time after, you know, these. that's the next time these guys will get sold off. These guys will stay pretty rare until then and people will keep them in their teams. But come on, guys, we had to be honest. Bruno at 4-5, what? Is he going to go to 5-5? Five, five? I mean, it's one of those things where it's like Ronaldo's 9 mil. Is he really going to go all the way up, uh, you know, and hit a price of what? 10 mil? I mean, that's, that's a really high price. So, 
it's not something that I was expecting. And I would have been, look, I would have been wrong. If it had happened, I would have been wrong. And I always tell you guys when I'm wrong, I'm always like, hey, I didn't get this right. I didn't get this call right. But for me, it was a little, it was kind of obvious, man. I mean, if for these cards to be dropping and then going up that much out of packs was going to be absurd. So I'm pretty happy with that call. Uh, Wijnaldum's Road to the Finals getting sold off a ton today. And I, and I think it's potentially due to the fact that maybe Curtis Jones has a card and people are kind of scared for that, but he's down a lot. And, you know, we got, we got Champions League coming up again. So this one is also interesting me. Oh, 585. No, that's such a good price. 583. I mean, he's down a lot today, man. I'm, I'm kind of taking a look at him for the Champions League rise because I do think some people will gamble on him. So we're going to take a look at that. What also is going to be interesting, right? And we talked about those Academy cards. If we, you know, not if, but when we get those Academy cards, which is next Friday, anything that links to those cards should be a pretty good investment. Um, and last year we had Odegaard, but anything, those cards are going to be very in demand. Now we take a look at it, right? The casual FIFA player base is very large, right? So anytime we get an unlockable like Academy or upgradable card, um, people are going to go the, the way to grind it, right? It's going to happen. And so there will be a situation where link investments, in my opinion, will go up a lot to those cards. But we're going to have to see and identify what is a link to those cards. We don't even know the cards yet. So really, that's kind of what we're considering and looking at right now. So look, we get a nice little bid win on this Wijnaldum at 591. I really like that price. I think it's a really good price. Um, I'm happy with it. He was 660 on rewards day and we got Champions League coming up. So I'm happy with that price. I'm going to see if I can win myself another Aubameyang. And we got a little lucky with the Steven Bergwijn sell because Steven Bergwijn, guys, is not selling at 119 right now. We got out at a really, really nice price. Um, so maybe a little bit lucky on that Steven Bergwijn price, guys. Maybe a little bit lucky because I maybe should have undercut by like a little bit more to try to get the sale because obviously we want to maximize the profit. So maybe maybe I got a little lucky there, guys. Um, we just got outbid on Aubameyang. Let's see if we can win the next one. Although I don't know what just sold. Oh, we got a, we got a situation where... This guy outbid us. Okay. Back to the trade list. Let's see what sold because we did just get a sale. Uh, Quadrado sold at 363. So I think, again, the, the lesson with that is that I don't think people can find that card. And it reminds me of the headliner street cards where a lot of people can't really find the headliner street cards, guys. And that's why on Wednesdays when they're getting these upgrades, no matter what, they're just kind of dying. And it's because people can't find them. So any card that's tough to find on the market, I think my my kind of understanding is going forward is try not to buy it because I just think it's a bad idea. Uh, any car that you're going to struggle to see on the market is probably not going to be a good investment. And I'm going to hire these Federico Chiesas a little bit, a little bit more. I mean, I think what, what were these ones listed at 30? I mean, look, he's selling right now at like 27. So because mine are fresh, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and probably sell them a little bit more. So only not, not too crazy. We've had these Muriels since like last week. He's actually up at like 105 today, but nothing crazy on the trans list guys. Um, generally, and then we did one another Obama at 963. So I'm really happy with that price. Um, I think for me, I'm, I'm stoked with that. We've got a Gio Reyna expiring in a second. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll get ready to relist that guys. The team right now we're five and oh, um, and I'm going to post a video on my tactics a little bit later, uh, probably on Monday for you guys right now. we got a lot of player reviews going up, but yeah, liking the team a lot. I think it's really good. It's, it's all untradeable except, uh, team of the year Messi, which I am now proclaiming is the best card in this game. He actually went down to 494 yesterday in the panic, and I'm so mad that I didn't get the cheapest Messi, but he's chilling at 505 right now. He's actually probably going to go down out of packs with the rate that's that players are going down right now, up and down, but it's okay, man. We, you know, we play FIFA guys to enjoy the game, um, so so we got we to gotta just... When we want to buy players collectively, you know, as my viewership, we have to just buy them and, and enjoy them. We can't worry too much about, I guess, buying at the wrong time or buying at the right time. I think, I think you try to buy at the best times, but... You really, it can't be the make or break in terms of buying and selling. You got to always just kind of enjoy the players for what they are. And I think that's the biggest tip. I guess the most disappointing thing was I was told yesterday on the stream that I can't actually unlock Pulisic, that I'm not going to be able to have enough XP. I have 29K XP left and I have six days. But what I'm thinking is like, okay, let's say I finish this, right? That's 2000 XP. Um, play three matches in any mode. And, I, you know, this is like another thousand each. That's 4K these were all like what a thousand so i think i have like 10k within the next two gold objectives but yeah i think it's going to be hard because considering we only have 10k left i think the biggest problem is I've, i must have missed a week and that's really going to hurt me that i've missed a week there because if i didn't miss a week uh, we'd probably be good to go so let's go ahead here we've also got to we've got to clear out some of our transfers guys we've had some stuff and this is kind of the 
I would say this is the downside with me as a trader is sometimes I don't clear out stuff on my trans list enough. And then I ended up getting, I ended up getting really stuck with stuff. Now this should sell. Uh, we're going to wait for this to sell guys to 1760 because that is really, really a big undercut. That's a 40 K undercut. And then once that sells, we're going to go ahead and probably list. Um, we're going to go ahead and list. Um, we're going to go ahead and list what we, uh, what we have there with the G arena, but we're going to list our bombings really high. Um, I, I think people will go ahead and gamble. I think something that I'm really looking at as well, not only with the road to the finals is I want to take a look and see, yeah, that's sold. I want to take a look and check, um, check out. Wow. Muriel sold that 108. Wow. Um, I need to go look at, okay. So quadrado here, 401. Okay. This is C. That's not good. All right. So we need to go look at, what was I just going to go look at, man? Okay. So we're going to list this guy at 1788. We'll still take some profit there. Uh, we need to look at Renato Sanchez and Sissoko. That's why I wanted to look at Renato Sanchez and Sissoko guys rose so much last week. It was absurd. So I want to go see with their cards really quickly, uh, what those are looking like today. Cause those guys rose a ton last week, man. Um, and there are qualifiers, which is making me think that they may get sold off a little bit, but yeah, one, two, one, two, five right now. I mean, that seems pretty low and the Europa league is back. I mean, I might take a risk on this. He's one, two, five. And he was one two seven nine last week, and he wrote he was actually one three one this morning. So I may actually risk it with this Renato Sanchez. I may take a little bit of a risk on him. I think that this is a very high tax card, obviously, but I think people will continue to buy into this guy. Um, so I'm gonna risk it a little bit on one. I just want to get in with some of the more expensive ones. I just want to get one. I'm not too picky about getting a bunch. I just kind of want to get in on them, you know. I don't really want to go crazy, but I want to have one to have one, you know, for the sake of having it. Um, and then let's take a look at Sissoko because Sissoko rose a lot last weekend too. So Sissoko's down at 115. So we'll grab that Sissoko as well because Sissoko was like one, I think Sissoko hit one, two, uh, if I'm not mistaken last week. And Saturdays just seemed like a good time to buy these guys. I think he was like one, two yesterday. Yeah. One, two, two, seven. And he was like one, two all day. So if we get that extra juice push up on him, um, it should be a pretty good deal. It should be a pretty good deal if we can get that extra kind of juice on him. So he's got... 20k undercut we'll take it and we'll put that one on the trans list we got the two little meta road to the finals on the trans list now which i can be very happy with so uh that's gonna be it for the video today guys thanks for watching i appreciate it that's kind of like a little bit of a a glimpse into what we're doing a nice little lazy buyer in greenwood and uh we'll actually stick around right now and i'll kind of readjust some of these players obviously i got stuck with a neuer which sucks but uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna readjust some of these we gotta get out of these icons because guys it is going to get ugly if we don't get out i think we got stuck with a couple of these guys this beckham didn't sell um but it's not bad it's not like we're losing a ton we're probably losing like five or six k on a couple of them um but i just want to i yeah i kind of want to panic sell i want to get out of these i want to make sure that we're, we're kind of cashing in on a couple of these and not getting stuck with them and then i think for the federico chiesas we're going to just list them higher man i think that because he's rising and because ours are fresh people may actually overpay for the ones that we have right so we're going to keep those really listed high. We have no rush to sell these guys at all. We have no freaking rush. We have all the time in the world uh, with these. So we're going to list these higher again. And uh, we're going to be happy about it, man. We're going to be happy that we made that investment. That's a really good look for us. Greenwood as well. We're going to make that a little higher. Uh, Papu Gomez has not been selling, so I'll, I'll lower that a little bit. And then these Jesus Navas, where are these at, man? Because he's that he's back down again. So he's like 130. So we'll take these. We, we had like 30 of these. We, we made some pretty good coins on them. Uh, but now it is time to make sure that we don't have any more because I don't want any more of him, bro. I don't, what was I doing listing this guy at 799? Okay, so we will go ahead and list him a lot lower. This obviously didn't work out, right? He didn't rise that much. Um, and that's, that's a part of, that's a part of trading, man. Sometimes that happens and yeah, you live and you learn guys. That is kind of what happens. Now we also have this Van Dyke and this Baron, but we'll keep our lazies listed because those are like the last two that I overpaid for. And Gio Reyna sold at 1788. So great. Great stuff, guys. Thanks for watching the video today. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.